it goes to the chorus section. Okay, I'll give you a preview of what the chorus sounds like. It goes like this. Let me see, okay. So yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and sh uh, let me see. Okay, that's the highest note, F sharp, which you really can't see in the screen. But it, yeah, pretty much it's actually the F sharp. That okay, middle C is here. We've got an octave C, a C, F sharp. Okay, so whenever I said the highest F sharp in the song, just remember it's that. So yeah, it's up to this F sharp up here. Okay. But anyway, let's go ahead and learn this chorus. Okay, so. It starts on the F sharp here, so B, I mean C, C, F sharp, okay, so yeah. F sharp, B, A sharp, B, F sharp, B, C sharp, B, F sharp, G sharp, B, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, like that. That's the first part of the chorus. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this. F sharp, B, A sharp, B, F sharp, B, C sharp, B. And then F sharp, G sharp, B, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, like that. That's the right hand for the first part of the chorus. The left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are, check it out, it's B major twice, so B, D sharp, F sharp, it's two of them. Followed by E major, which is E, G sharp, B, and then E minor, which is E, G, B, okay? So I think in the preview, I didn't play E minor here. I played E major twice, I kind of stuffed it up, but yeah, this is the right thing. So there's two B majors, followed by E major, and then E minor. Okay, with those four chords in mind, the turn together goes like this. It goes F sharp and B major together. After the F sharp, B major by itself. F sharp and E major together. D and E minor together. Like that. Okay, one more time for the first part of the chorus. So it goes together. Here, together, together, like that, and that's the first part of the chorus. Moving on to the second part of the chorus, it goes like this, right hand, it goes three F sharps, one, two, three, and then G sharp, A sharp, B, down to the D sharp, C sharp, B, and then it goes B, F sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, and then up to F sharp, up to D sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp, okay? So this second part is pretty hard because there's a lot of jumping around. The piano, uh, one more time, so it goes like this for the second part of the chorus. So it goes uh, three F sharps, G sharp, A sharp, B, down to D sharp, C sharp, B. That jump is pretty hard. And it goes B, F sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B. This next jump is big as well. F sharp up to D sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp, like that. That's the right hand. Left hand for the second part of the chorus goes like this. Four chords here. The four chords are uh, D sharp minor, which is D sharp, F sharp, A sharp, followed by G sharp minor, which is G sharp, B, D sharp. Then the third chord is C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. And the fourth chord is F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, so D sharp minor, G sharp minor, C sharp minor, and F major, the two hands together will just go like this. So the D, minor, D sharp minor by itself. After the B, G sharp minor by itself. F sharp and C sharp minor together. The high D sharp and F sharp major together. Just like that. Okay, and that's it. One more time. So it goes like this. Here. Here. Together. Together. Just like that. Alright, and that's the second part of the chorus. Moving on to the third part of the chorus. Let me check if it's the same. Hmm. Okay, okay, so this third part of the chorus is nearly exactly the same as the first part of the chorus, except for the last two notes on the right hand, okay? So yeah, we, we, like these patterns are very important because it allows you to learn stuff quicker. So yeah, yeah pretty much 90% of this is the same, so it goes like this. Okay, and now after the B here is different, the right hand, the last two notes, instead of going to G sharp, F sharp, this time it goes up to the highest F sharp in this song, which I said before, which you can't see on the screen, but it's the highest F sharp, and then down to C sharp. 
and that's it. That's the only difference between the third part and the first part. It's the right hand, last two notes. Instead of G sharp, it goes to high F sharp, C sharp this time, okay? But everything else is exactly the same, including the chords and the positioning of the chords with the left hand and the right hand, okay? So this is important. This is really important stuff to remember because it allows you to learn stuff a lot quicker. But anyway, one more time for this third part. So this first, 90% is the same. C sharp like that. So da -da, like that. So it's good. Like that. Okay. So yeah, that's the third part. Moving on to the fourth and last part of the chorus. It goes like this. Okay, right hand. It goes four C sharps. One, two, three, four, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, B, and then G sharp, F sharp, C sharp, B, and then down to F sharp to D sharp. B, F sharp, G sharp, B, B like that. Okay, that's the right hand. One more time, so it goes like this, four C sharps, one, two, three, four, D sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, C sharp, B, and then F sharp, D sharp, B, F sharp, G sharp, B, B like that. And that's the right hand for the fourth part. Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are, okay, D sharp minor, which is D sharp, F sharp, A sharp, Second chord is G sharp minor, which is G sharp B D sharp, followed by C sharp minor, which is C sharp E G sharp, and the fourth chord is F sharp major, which is F sharp A sharp C sharp. You can see it always is revolving around the similar chords that you kind of learn. Okay, but anyway, one more time. So G, D sharp minor, G sharp minor, C sharp minor, and F sharp major are the four chords for this fourth and last part of the chorus. Okay, so putting the two hands together, it goes like this. The chord comes in by itself first, and then right hand comes in. Oops, the high C. My bad, let's do it again. So it goes here. After that, C sharp, G sharp minor by itself. G sharp and C sharp minor together. The high D sharp and F sharp major together. Just like that. Okay, one more time. So it goes like this. Here. Here. Together. Together. And that's it, okay? And that's the chorus. Okay, after the chorus is played, we go back to the...